Let's take a look at how to color a protein to show regions where the conformation differs, uh, where I have multiple copies of this protein in a complex. Let me show you what we're going to get at. We're going to do this in Chimera X, and here I have eight copies of a DNA integrity scanning protein in a helical arrangement. The yellow regions are regions where the eight copies have different, somewhat different conformations. Um, and the blue areas are, are in the core are regions where the eight copies have very similar conformation. All right, so let's take a look at how to do this. I'm going to close uh, this and we'll we'll do it from the start. So I'll, I'll open the PDB model seven Y zero D. So here, each of the eight copies are given a different color. The first thing I want to do is align the eight copies. First, I'll separate them so that each one is a separate model in Chimera X. Right now, they're all a part of one model. So I'll say split uh, number one. Number one is the number, the ID number of the model. So you see in the model panel at the right, I now have models number 1.1 through 1.8. And I can align them with the matchmaker command. So I'll say uh, matchmaker number 1.2 through 8 to number 1.1. So this will align seven of the copies to number two, th copies number two through eight uh, to number one. All right, so they're all aligned now. That minimized the C alpha uh, distances between the different copies. Uh, and let's um, how do I get the, the RMSD of each residue? That's what I used. The RMSD of the C alpha position of each residue. That's what was used to do that blue, yellow, and red coloring. So first I'll display the sequence of this protein. I'll go to the molecule display toolbar. I'll press the sequence icon here. That shows the sequence. And then if I right click or control click on this under headers, it says C alpha RMSD. So let me click that. That computes the C alpha RMSD. Besides showing it in this in this window here on the sequence um, as a header, it's also assigned an attribute to the residues. And I can use that attribute to color. So let's do that. I'll say color by attribute. Um, I give the attribute name, which is seek underscore RMSD. So from the sequence viewer, the RMSD that was calculated. Um, I want to color all eight models. I can refer to those as number one, since they're number 1.1, 1 1.2, 1 1.3. .1 and then I'm going to give it a color palette. Uh, the lowest um, RMSD is going to say blue, colon yellow, colon red. All right, so there's the coloring uh, where yellow and red are the more um, ones that have more variable C alpha uh, atom positions. And now how do I get back to the original uh, arrangement of the eight proteins? I say view initial. And that's what we were looking at at the beginning. We could uh, also display this, say, as a cartoon with side chains. Up in the toolbar here, I can say show cartoon. I could change the side chains to uh, stick style. I give a little bit different view. Thanks for listening.